Hey, thanks for pushing play. I'm sure you're tired of seeing me like this, um, and I just wish that I could see you. Um, I was taking a look at uh, some of the turkeys that were in our backyard this morning and watching the toms strutting around, do their thing, their, their mating dance and all this stuff, and I actually admit I got a little jealous. No, not of their tail feathers, and uh, I wasn't jealous because they're having any kind of success. Um, I was just jealous at how oblivious they were to the things going on in our world. It, it's crazy. They just have this freedom to uh, just keep enjoying life as they've always known it. This is hard. Uh, this is painful, this, this time that we're in. And no, I don't want to be a turkey. Um, I just want this to be over, as I'm sure many of you do as well. Uh, I was reading last week in the book of Psalms, uh, Psalm 126, which was most likely written after the people in Israel had returned after decades of exile to their homes. And the author, the author writes this, listen to this. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. Our mouths were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. And, and then we, we get to join these people in praying the next verse this way. It says, Restore our fortunes, Lord, like streams in the Negev. May those who sow with tears reap with songs of joy. May those who go out weeping, carrying seed to sow, return with songs of joy and carrying sheaves with them. You know, this... This is a picture of our future. This is what God is working out right now in our world. So even now, we can laugh and sing and we can praise God for the great things that he has done for us and that he continues to do. Uh, this Sunday, we're gonna celebrate communion together. Um, we believe this is really important for us to do, to take time to remember uh, how Jesus sacrificed for us on the cross and to celebrate his presence with us still today. So I'm telling you this now so that you and your family can get prepared for that. You can go and get your bread or your crackers, your juice, whatever it is you want to use to celebrate communion with us. You can put that all together and be prepared for that celebration come Sunday morning. And uh, if you haven't checked out the latest special music piece by our worship team, uh, you should do that right now. I've got the link down here on the screen, uh, but also I have, have put the link in the description of this video below. You can just click on that link and, and you can go check that out. I, I shared with our, our worship leaders and with Tim that this is a song that I actually used to sing in the car when I was by myself on long drives, either heading into a time of prayer or ending a time of prayer where I was just uh, spending some time alone with God. Uh, it sounds like, well, actually, you should check out their version because it sounds much better than the version I used to sing. So really good stuff. Uh, I also share this last thing with you. I heard a story about a FedEx guy. He had dropped off a package at a home, and this little girl came to the door, and she was all excited. And then, then she read that uh, the package was addressed to her dad, and her mom said, yeah, it's just some boring stuff that, that your dad had ordered. And she started to cry a little bit, and the mom explained to the FedEx guy that She's just really disappointed because it's her birthday and she was hoping that maybe her friends had surprised her with a present or something like that. The FedEx guy returned 30 minutes later with a special delivery just for this girl, birthday cupcakes for the whole family. Uh, that story put a smile on my face. Uh, I know it put a smile on this girl's face and her family's. Um, we can do this. You can go and make someone's day right now today. You can join God in putting uh, laughter and songs in people's hearts and on uh, their lips. I encourage you to do so. Hey, we love you. We miss you. We're praying for you. Please take care. We hope to see you soon.